Using Blender add-ons has become an essential part of my workflow, and I truly don't know what I would do without them. I'm always obsessed with finding the most recent and up-to-date add-ons that can help me throughout my process. However, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the top 7 Blender add-ons that I've found over the years that I'm not only going to recommend, but I use on a day-to-day, -day, regular basis. These are the add-ons that I keep finding myself coming back to. These add-ons I've used repeatedly in just about every project, and I truly can't recommend them enough. So trust me when I say, this isn't going to be another one of those, you know, top 10 Blender add-ons of the month videos up on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the add-ons that are truly useful, and that I actually use myself. Now without further ado, I'm going to dive right in and tell you what these add-ons are. Also, a quick thank you to Shortform for sponsoring today's video, however, I'm going to talk about that later. The first one is a company I think most people have heard about. The add-on was developed by Mixmo, who of course is owned by Adobe. And if you aren't already familiar with it, basically what Mixmo lets you do is upload a 3D character model, riz it up, wait, no, rig it up, and then choose from one of the thousands of different mocap animations they have on the website. Then of course you can download it as an FBX and import that into Blender. However, what a lot of people don't know is they actually have an add-on as well. And honestly, it's probably not what you expect. What the add on is actually for is taking any pre-rigged character, for example this one, and then generating a very high quality control rig out of that. This supports all type of IK rigs and all that, so it makes a character animation so, so easy. And as well as this, Mixmo is actually completely free, so you can download it free of charge. Oh yeah, and by the way, I just want to quickly mention before I continue to the next Blender add-on, I know there will always be a couple of comments asking how to install add-ons, which is completely fine. Really, all you have to do is go to edit, preferences and then in the add-ons tab you just click the little install button drag and drop in whatever type of add-on you've got click install and then go ahead and check this checkbox here which is just going to activate the add-on so that you can use it inside of blender now the next add-on that i find pretty much essential to my workflow is the open import add-on now, this is one I've covered on this YouTube channel in the past. I literally have a 45 second video, it's the shortest one on my channel by far, and I just really briefly cover how to use the add-on. But basically what it does is by clicking the open import button, you can just import any type of file inside of Blender. And what this means is you don't have to go to file, import, find a different type of file you're going to use, and then mess around with that for a while. It literally just makes it one click of a button, and you can import any type of file straight into Blender. Okay, so the next add-on I want to talk about may sound a little bit biased, and you're going to see why in just a second, but it is called the Camera Setup Add-on for Blender. And what this allows you to do is select any type of camera in your scene, click on the Camera Properties, and then select one of the two options here. And what it will do is it will set up the camera in pretty much all the perfect specifications, and if you so choose, it will add in a little empty object here that you can use to control where the focus of the depth of field is located. Now the reason I said this may sound a bit biased is because I've actually created this add-on. However, this isn't me trying to market it or sell it to you at all. It's actually a completely free add-on, so I don't gain anything from it. I've really only created this add-on to help myself out, but I know it can definitely help a lot of you out too. So I decided to upload it to Gumroad. I know a couple of y'all have already downloaded it, and the feedback I've received is incredible. Okay, so this next one is going to be a bit strange, because it's not just one Blender add-on, it's actually a couple under the same name. I'm of course talking about Polygonique's collection of Blender add-ons. So Polygonique is a company I actually collaborated with a while back to create this video, in which I talked about one of their products called Botanique. But basically, they've just created a ton of super useful add-ons that I cannot not include inside of this list. I truly use their add-ons all of the time, and they are so incredibly useful. My favorite three that they've created are Botanique, Traffic, and then Interior Leak. And by the way, I already know there's a whole horde of comments coming at me saying I'm totally mispronouncing those, so I'm sorry in advance. But I will really quickly mention Traffic, which is their add-on that creates uh, all sorts of car models and like vehicles and all this stuff. They're all rigged up and really easy to use. Either way, they just released a brand new update with a ton of different new cars. So we're talking Ferraris, McLarens, Lamborghinis, but then also just a ton of other casual cars and like uh, motorcycles. I don't know, just anything you could possibly think of that has the word vehicle attached to it, they're probably going to have it. And by the way, I do think they actually have a really big sale running right now. So if you want to get them at a discounted price, I just thought I might as well let you know. All right, so before I continue to the next add-on, I want to say thank you to Shortform for sponsoring today's video. So I've been using this platform for a while now. It's called shortform.com and essentially one of the 
main things they do is create summaries of different famous books. For example, The 4-Hour Workweek, which is written by Tim Ferriss, who is an extremely smart guy. He has a podcast my dad and I like to listen to. Basically, in his book, he teaches you how to create and automate your own online business. And what Shortform does is it takes this book, which is incredible, and turns it into a very convenient and easy to read summary. And so what I've started to do is most mornings and evenings, I'll sit down and just read through an entire summary for one of the books. And oftentimes what I also like to do is take notes on that so I can furthermore ingrain it inside of my brain. And the great thing about Shortform is I can never run out of stuff to read. And this is because they publish new book guides every single week. Plus, if you're subscribed to Shortform, you can even vote on what you want them to cover. And on top of that, they constantly publish new articles about all sorts of stuff from tech to politics to whatever you can name. And by the way, you can get Shortform for around the cost of just one book per month. And if all of this doesn't sound appealing enough, if you use my link in the description, that's shortform.com slash Benji, you can get not only a five day free trial, but also 20% off your subscription. So once again, that's shortform.com slash Benji. I'd highly recommend all of you go check it out right now. I absolutely love Shortform and I cannot recommend it enough. All right, now back to the video. All right, so on to the fifth Blender add-on. Now, I know a lot of you are familiar with Ian Huber. He is an incredible 3D artist that has created some truly stunning pieces of work. For example, I think he's just released the next two episodes of Dynamo Dream, which are just absolutely crazy. However, what a lot of people don't know about him is he actually has a Blender add-on. And what this does is it can allow you to select any camera and add in some real camera shake to it. And the reason I say real is because these are actually motion tracked cameras shake animations that have been cleaned up, looped, and then made conveniently into a Blender add-on for anybody to use. And that's because it's actually completely free. You can find it for free up on GitHub, and I'll put the link down below. Okay, so the next one I want to go ahead and talk about has to do with materials. So of course, this one is going to be a bit biased because it's another add-on I've actually created. However, I really do think it's extremely useful. I've been slowly talking about it more and more on this YouTube channel because I've received tons and tons of messages of people just telling me how awesome they think it is. But this add-on is the quick shader setup add-on for Blender. And what it lets you do is click this button right here, and it's basically going to set up a very simple material for any type of object. And the reason this is just so insanely useful is it saves so much time. Instead of having to load in a texture and plug that into the, the roughness and the bump and normals or whatever, it literally just makes it a click of a button and you've got a very basic material for any type of object. Now, the last add-on on this list isn't very popular per se, but it is extremely useful. What this add-on allows you to do is take all of the different HDRIs you have on your computer and basically preload them into Blender. So instead of having to open up and try to navigate to the HDRI I want to use, then connect the nodes inside of the shader editor, and finally adjust the settings throughout there. What this lets you do is just click one button, and you can choose whichever HDRI you want. And once you click on that, you can adjust any setting you want. And by the way, I actually do have a full-length video tutorial on that add-on, so I'll make sure to put the link to that in the description as well. Now, before I let you all go, I just want to quickly mention that most of the add-ons in this list are free, but there are a couple of paid ones. And if you do decide to check one of these paid add-ons out, I actually have affiliate links in the description. So if you use those to purchase the add-on, I actually get a small commission of that money. So, of course, I politely ask if you do think about checking one of these out, I would appreciate it tremendously if you used my link. Now, of course, with all of that being said, I really do hope I've provided some value to you all. I've worked extremely hard on this video, and so I just really quickly want to say thank you so much for watching. And with that, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.